Welcome to the launch base zone, the final zone in Sonic 3, the midway point in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so we're about the midway point, close enough anyways. Definitely feels like a final zone, it's one of the harder zones in the game, kind of odd, that has a weird difficulty curve, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but a final zone in the middle. Ribot, I don't mind this guy, I like frogs, and he's not, he's not too offensively bad. And I really like this guy, actually, there's something you can do with this guy that I'll show early on in the video, right after the video starts, actually. So just keep him in the back of your mind. Oh, Orbanaut. The final in the Orbanaut dynasty. One of these motherfuckers has been in every game. And this guy is, uh, well, he's a little thing to him. A little gimmick I'll show you when we get to him. And this is just a laser. I don't know why the fucking American manual gave him a name. It's just a stupid name too, Quirky. What a stupid name. And Snail Blaster. This guy's not bad, but he's kind of annoying. He can take a while to kill. Well, let's start the actual level up. So here we are at the beginning of launch base zone with some snow, I presume from the ice cap zone. And right along here there's a little alarm gate and whenever you trigger it, a fly bot will come down and fly into you. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you might already have figured it out, but what you gotta do is spin dash, they will fly into you, you can get an endless stream of them, and after a while, enough points will accumulate that you get an extra life. Kind of like that one Koopa against the stairs glitch in Mario 1, except this is a lot easier, all you have to do is spin dash and hold it. And I get a few more lives just for luck, but really, do you need infinite lives? I mean, come on. It's not a hard game, people. Oh yeah. And whatever not, his little gimmick is, um, he only moves when you move. Like, st standing still. Oh, you gotta move. Oh. He's, he's really, really easy to avoid. You just gotta jump over him. But he doesn't fire his little balls at you, so it's really hard to ever actually, you know, kill him. But you don't need to, you can just jump over him. You might have noticed that gargantuan object in the background. That is the death egg. And while you never really got a good look at it in Sonic 2, uh, you probably could have figured out what it was. It's just a death star, but it's got Robotnik's stupid face on it. And obviously the title of this level, Launch Base Zone, is the launch base of the death egg, and that's where we're heading. I really like all the obstacles and stuff in this level, like, you know, this stupid thing. I really just like this level overall. I mean, it's a good level of difficulty, it's not too hard, it's not like frustrating, but it's not easy, you have to concentrate, you have to pay attention to what's going on. It's Snail Blaster, you have to wait until he opens his back, then you get him. And a recurring element through this level that I'm not actually that keen on is, you have to hit these, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, we hit it, it lowers, removes that red and black gate. Yeah, see, lasers. I don't know why those have a name. I didn't even know that until I made this video. But yeah, apparently they have a name. It's quirky. Whatever. I like it when stupid lifts or whatever do that. I'm not entirely sure what they're supposed to be, but whatever. I oh, am yeah, frog guy. See, not that hard to deal with. I mean, if you're running too fast, you might bump into him, but it's not too bad. It's a little shortcut you might not have known about and go into those. It's quite cool. And you can actually get some pretty good speed in this level. Not just here, but later places too. Oh, well, here actually, never mind. Because you got some speed shoes and really long stretches where you can, oh, not loop to loops but these weird things that blast you in a circle. It's kind of cool. And, see, like, there's plenty of places where there's, I'm not sure what this was supposed to be with speed boosters you saw earlier, but I do enjoy the, oh, I forgot. I went super sonic this level. But, yep, I just gotta, you know, this, level's gonna, this fucking video is gonna be long enough as it is. I might speed it up a little bit with Super Sonic. Couldn't hurt. And I decided to go back and show you how you're supposed to get up here. Is you have to stand on this platform and it goes up. It's pretty simple to figure out. Besides, it's, it's a really fun level to be Super Sonic in because there's nice long stretches where you can just run into guys and stuff. And you can actually kill those fucking Orbanauts at Super Sonic. I mean, I think you can probably get them with your Insta Shield, but it's not worth it. Oh yeah, these things they just go. You grab the handle and they travel in the way you're facing. You never really need to change directions, but apparently you can, so whatever. Fucking just blitz through this level of Super Sonic. I hope you're getting the gist of it. That's all I really want to do is like show you what the level is like without you know showing the whole like every single inch of it. But I hope you get the like the general understanding of what this level is like. It's like it's I try not to make this game look too easy because it's actually pretty fucking hard if you're not like retardedly experienced at it like I am. I wouldn't say I'm really good, but I would say I'm really experienced, so I know a lot of the tricks up Robotnik's sleeve. Oh, there he is. Fuck you, Robotnik. So, yeah. He, what was he carrying? Oh, it's a mystery. We'll find out soon enough. But, uh, what's up here? Oh, this part's great. Uh-oh, it's that fucking son of a bitch Knuckles. What's he doing? Oh, he's apparently he thinks he's Bomberman. And don't worry, that's not the last time we're going to see that motherfucker this level. 
be it's a lot funnier next time, I swear. He just blows up this building because he's a fucking terrorist or something, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. I mean, you have plenty of time to get, a, get away, but whatever. Alright, fuck you, Robotnik. What's this? Oh, it's the mini-boss. And he's just awful, really. Yeah, this guy is just, he's terrible. Look, I mean, I, even if I wasn't invincible, see, I'm pretty sure you understand how you supposed to do it. He spins around for a second, and then he pulls his arms in lets you hit him. And then after three hits, he gets even easier, because one of his arms falls off. What a piece of shit. Let's hit the signpost round just a little bit, why not, you know? Now, I'm not going to spoil everything on this playthrough, but Knuckles actually has to fight two of those, and it's really not any harder, because they just, like, clip through each other and overlap and it's basically the same as if there was just one. So, Act 2, it's a little different. I'm probably not as big a fan of Act 2 as I am of Act 1, but one thing I do like that Act 2 has is water, and there isn't a lot of it, but there's more than Ice Cap Zone, which is nice, and you actually have to go in it some. Still, it's not as much as it could have been, but whatever. And I'm really shitty at Act 2 for some reason, I don't know why. It's not that much harder, but I just get hit a whole lot more, but whatever. Luckily, there's still a lot of rings, so you know what that means. But, oh yeah, I don't know if I could tell you earlier, but there's like different versions of that fucking frog guy, like one where he spins around, one where he drops two of his hands. I don't know. He's not really a important bad Nick. But, one thing I don't like is that this all actually has quite a bit of fire in it. I think a fire shield would probably be pretty useful, except you can't really keep it for very long because there's fucking water that's just there to pretty much take away your fire shield if you would get one. Which I don't even think I do, because I'm just I'm too lazy to go in the special zones. Alright, just hit that and what's in here? That's just a dick move, isn't it? Fuck you, Sega. Oh well, you had to hit that one anyways to open this little area, but still. Oh well. That was kind of a clever puzzle. A bit asshole-ish. But, oh well. And we get to go in some water. Pretty happy about that, but not gonna be here for very long. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, you think you're going to spikes, but you don't. See, it's like, there are levels that have water, and there are levels that have water that you're never in any danger of drowning in, like this one. Whatever. You have to, like, oh, one thing you do is you hit that, and then you go in the stream of water, and it puts you through the pipes. It's pretty cool, I guess. That only happens, like, twice, though. I actually jumped over. If you saw, I, I spin-dashed through it, and I jumped over a fucking spring, because they want to spring you right into it, but it's hard to even tell what happens when you, can, you don't have enough time to react. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't go supersonic when you're invincible, which I mean, you might be thinking, oh, what's the fucking deal, but being supersonic is way better than being invincible. You run, fucking jump faster and higher and shit. You can't do it. There we go. And you also can't use your fucking shield special abilities as Sonic. Like, you can't double jump, you can't flame dash or whatever when you're invincible and you have a shield. As Super Sonic, though, you still get, I mean, and as Invincible and Super Sonic, get all the effects of your shield, like, rings come to you, but whatever. And, yeah, I found that complete accident. I don't want a fucking water shield, but I'm, I'm not gonna get that. Fuck you. Water shield is just stupid. Don't want them. Maybe, well, I mean, it's not gonna be any, any danger of drowning, so I don't, I don't have to worry about that shit. And I don't have to worry about getting hit to Super Sonic, so who fucking cares? It's just a waste of time. Probably more of a waste of time talking about it, but whatever. Eh, yeah, probably the jumped out of there. Oh, see, fucking, I don't want that goddamn water shield. But, water shield right there means we're getting kind of close to the end of the act. I mean, we still have this little area up here that I kind of like. Just because, you know, I like these things. I don't know, maybe they could have done a little less with them, but whatever. I really don't mind. And, I'm actually gonna not fight the bosses supersonic. Because, just, it's a little cheap. I mean, it's, these are final bosses, but, you know...